Good morning world. I'm out here in my backyard and I am super happy at what I'm looking at because our pool is no longer green. So we've been scrubbing at it since Sunday, I think. Yes, we've been, I've been scrubbing at it and then Chris started joining me yesterday and the day before. So I guess he saw how much work I was putting into it and just said, oh my gosh, I'm gonna help her out. So let me show you, the water is no longer green. There is our pool. My goodness. It's, it's a sight to see, I tell you what. I can't wait to get into the water. So I'm, not, I'm definitely not gonna do it this weekend. I still have, as you can see, some green spots, but I've been assured on the different forums I've been um, researching on that this will die as well. It'll turn gray, float out into the water, and get picked up by the filtration system. That said, my water got dirty because my filtration system hasn't been cleaned in the three months that we've owned the home. <laughs> so, yeah, it's definitely time to clean it. No, I mean, it's, it's the chlorine that I was putting into it just couldn't handle, it just couldn't handle that I've got probably a bunch of algae blooms inside of it so it was just getting eaten up by all the biological material that was that probably is trapped up in the filter so that is why the chemicals were ineffective so I wasn't doing anything wrong except for just not knowing that I had to clean the cartridge so it's quite intimidating I don't know if I've shown you the machine platform but I'm gonna show you the machine platform so you can see what I'm talking about it's gonna get loud here's the machine platform and these are all the different components that I have had to learn how to use. As you see, I've written with Sharpie what things do, what I think they do. And um, I did get this replaced. And it had a big old crack in it and it was leaking. It was a mess. But it cost me $80 to replace it. And then I learned later on that I didn't have to spend that kind of money because I could have done it myself. This did not have a basket in it. And I, I don't know why it didn't have a basket, but... It's supposed to collect debris so it can protect, you know, the filter from getting overrun by large particles. So this is the heater system and I haven't got to use it yet, but I have turned it on. It does work. It heats the water up about a degree a minute. So 30 minutes, it'll go up to 30 degrees. I do not know how to read this gauge. So I'm probably going to replace it because I couldn't find the model. But you're welcome to do something for me if you like. This is, this is the cartridge system we have, and inside that are each two, are either going to be one of two things, a very, very large cartridge or four small ones. But I have been, I have been using YouTube like crazy to learn everything about this pool system. And I'm just so impressed that my husband's grandmother has done this for 30 years. I believe her pool is actually quite much larger than our pool. And, you know, that especially vacuuming and scrubbing the pool and that is that is not that's no small job it really just isn't so that's what I've been up to these past couple of days just fighting the good fight trying to get this pool water clear and I don't know I want to use the spa so bad now that I know how it works yesterday I found that it has a whirlpool feature and I was just like, oh, okay. I was just pulling on, on, on valves. I'm doing it smart though. I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm labeling things as I find out what they do. And I did also find that, uh, the, actually the weekend prior, I found out that we have like a, a water spout or a water fountain feature on our pools. Well, <laughs> we didn't even know that. So I really don't think that the owners, the previous owners of this home ever used this pool I think they just threw shock in it just to keep the water clear so that they could sell the house to us because it definitely needs a lot of work I told you probably last week that there's scaling a lot of scaling so if you can see let me try and get my finger there along the edges here there's a white line well that's not grout that's that's calcium scale from the hard water here so I've got to get in there with a pumice stone and actually scrape that away before putting on an anti-scaling treatment, which is supposed to make, I guess, the walls slick so the scale doesn't stick to it. I'm not quite sure. There's so many chemicals out there that I need to learn about. Um, there, the, okay, so the forum I'm using is called Trouble Free Pools. So 
if you have a pool, definitely check it out. They actually teach you how to use less chemicals in your pool and more or less expensive chemicals if you're going to use it, like actual bleach instead of chlorine tabs. It's really interesting reading. I haven't done it yet. I bought so much chemicals for my pool. I'm obviously not going to not, you know, waste that money. So it'll be some time before I actually start following their advice. But have a look at that if you're having trouble with your pools. Anyway, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.